Okay, so today we are going to talk about the Adam Ku video lah. Uh, it's not very hard to understand, I think. Well, I, 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 I think maybe his graph is a bit wrong though. Shouldn't this be A, right? For me lah. For me, I think this is A. Then this is B, and then now the curve we are experiencing is C, right? My take is this one is A, right? Doesn't really matter lah. It's a big of a difference. Shouldn't this be A, right? If this is A, then one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Then this is A. This is B. C, right? Isn't that right? That's why, that's why I, I don't know what's like, why, why, why he write. I am a bit confused why he write this is A. Okay, so how did he get this number? Well, usually the C, right, is a little bit higher la, than the uh, B, the, the B, the B curve. La. I'm gonna draw it properly to tell you all about his logic. La. Okay, so this is the doodle. And this is the weekly chart, and then he says he took it from here, right? Then A, then B, then C. Okay. How the? Oh my God. Uh, A, B, C, right? Then the C, huh? He just take here. And he thinks that it's about 60, uh, 61.8 uh, okay, of the thing. 61.8% of the FIBO. So you just pull a FIBO. I don't know whether this thing works or not, uh, his method. I, I really don't know. Okay, but he this is Elliott Wave. Uh. Uh, he used characteristics of Elliott Wave. And of course, if you do this kind of thing, your Elliott Wave must be correct. Uh. If your Elliott Wave is wrong, I think... Is wrong, okay. Uh, okay, so he say is about uh, he think is about here lah. Four thousand nine hundred twenty. He made this sixty one point eight a level the same as this lah. So I'm just trying to recreate what he did and uh, give the logic lah for what he did it for. Now what do I think? Uh, I I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea what he's doing. Honestly speaking, I cannot see the. I cannot see how I I I. I never seen people do this before lah. But this is quite advanced, I think. Right. So that means he's saying that the C curve, oh, is going to be I uh. uh the range of it uh, is going to be roughly 61.8. Uh. This one, I have no idea, uh, really. Okay. For me, uh, I I don't really uh, use Elliott Wave. Uh. I use the channels uh, theory more. Because the Elliott Wave is sometimes very hard to see. You know, the A, B, and C, the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Wow. When it's happening, you don't know whether it's a is a what kind of wave is it. You see, there are several guidelines uh, to help you. For example, number the third wave is usually the longest, right? So if I were to draw a Elliott wave, huh, this is one, this is two. The third wave is the longest, so I would say this is the third wave, okay? And this is the fourth, and the fifth could be here. Right, or could be here, okay, or it could be here, okay. That's why ah, it's a bit, it's a bit confusing. Ah. One, two, three, four, five, okay. Uh, yeah, it, it's definitely a bit confusing lah. The, the Elliott wave and sometimes the shape doesn't really adhere to the Elliott shape lah. okay 
then four, then five, right? Then what is this? If this is five at the end, this is what it should be five. Uh, usually it should be a five. Then this is a, right? Is the A curve that long? U usually it's not that long. Uh. I don't think it's that long. Uh. That's why he took the... He said that, nope, this is not this one. The number 5 is not there. This is the wrong draw. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's how he draw it. No? Again, uh, if we were to argue the Elliott wave here and there, uh, it's never ending. Uh. Okay, it's never ending. Uh. So... We argue on the Elliott wave is useless uh, because uh, it's a waste of time uh, to do that. Okay. Then this one, one. We can also say this one is the Elliott wave. One, two. But the third one here lah, must be long. Third one, four. Third one is here. Then four, eh? four, and five. Right. We can also argue like that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 Then after that A, B, C So, wow, so many arguments uh. So that's why Elliott wave uh, is really hard to use uh. Okay, that's to tell you uh, the technical methods So I prefer to use the normal indicators and channels uh. I think channels are usually more accurate uh. That's what I believe uh. Okay the bands of which channel uh, become great uh, spot and resistance. Okay, it's not that saying that they are cannot be breached. It's saying that they are harder to breach. Uh. Okay. Now, looking at the SPY like that, what do you notice about this? It's a consolidation pattern, uh, followed by followed by an upwards movement. Okay, I don't think it's going to stop before 9.20 only lah, for me. I think it's going to be a bit more bullish, maybe uh, 5,000 around there lah. For me lah, at least. At least it's going to be about 5,000 around there lah. I don't think it's going to end so fast ah. <laughs> That's FYI ah. I really don't think it's going to end so fast. Okay. So I'm going to do what I always do lah. Right. Draw channels ah. This is a bit too high, I think. This is probably the best channel I see. Uh, I'm going to do what I do. La. So I'm drawing a channel and I want to see how this works. La. So I'm actually very bullish la, looking at this. Uh, very, very bullish, la, I would say. Okay. Uh... I think this one will go to at least about 5,000 uh, for me. 5,055. Roughly around here. 5,055. 5,058. Okay. Uh, then maybe February it will start going down. Uh. So Tom Lee is quite accurate uh, now that I think about it. Yeah. But the correction he predicted is going to be starting from the 5,000 level. Eh. Right. So back to MT Pulse. Uh, MT Pulse, uh, thanks to him, uh, he uh, shared with us uh, uh, the Tom Lee prediction. Uh. One say that uh, February SPY is going to correct itself downwards. SPY is S&P 500. Uh. Sometimes I like to talk in terms of ETF. But he also said Hong, Hang Seng, uh, Hang Seng uh, uh, is going to go up uh, this February. Uh, is it possible or not? Yeah, I think it's possible. Okay. Back to empty piles, uh, that one. Because the... I think the Chinese uh, Hang Seng and that one, they are massively oversold really. I think it's very rare. La. They are very cheap. La. Very, 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 very rare. Okay. And if you say it's a... I would say this is one of those meta moments la, later in life. Okay. Where it 
Oh yeah, yeah, bentar. Where it's still possible lah uh, for the Chinese market to drop another 10 to 20 percent. So, what is the moral of the story? Moral of the story is cheaper can get much cheaper lah. It's not an excuse for you to start gambling lah. For me, I think I I I don't believe in gambling. I think if you set the margin uh, I I think that is gambling really lah. For me, that is a no no, a huge no no. Okay. I'm sorry, but for me, that's a super huge no-no. Okay. I think in the first place, uh, the best risk management uh, actually comes from the mental side, your attitude and your mental side. Okay. Uh, basically, this one is cheap. For example, you talk about the Chinese HST, Hang Seng uh, Tech Index. Right. For me, I think it's very cheap. But it doesn't mean it cannot go down even more. It cannot go down 20% more. It cannot go down 30% more. It cannot go down 40% more. Yeah. And that's it for today. Uh, my The personal instructor, my wife called always here. Uh, yeah, she always... Okay. That's it for today.